All right, welcome back, True Seeker. Want to talk a little bit more about terrorism waged by the government and blamed on boogeymen. And another one of those examples in recent times was the Boston Marathon bombing of April 15th, 2013, just 33 days after we got the first Jesuit Pope. And when I was just down in Oklahoma City looking at the federal building bombing, they have a, uh, a fence up where people come and post, you know, their memories and, you know, their well wishes for the deceased. And on the fence in recent years, it's become a tradition to put up a, you know, what do you call it? A medal from winning the marathon. The winners of the newer Oklahoma City marathon like to put up, again, the medals on the fence to remember the victims of the April 19th, 1995 bombing in Oklahoma City. And I looked into that marathon, and it began in 2001. And it began on the 119th day of the year, just before the big terrorism tragedy of 2001 on September 11th, the date written 11-9. And as we'll get to, the Boston Marathon bombing came 119 days after the Pope's birthday. So... It, it, it's going to be amazing. You're going to be amazed at how much lined up with this Boston Marathon bombing and how many parallels there are to Oklahoma City. But uh, of course, as we've been talking about, it's the Jesuits who serve the Catholic Church who are behind all of this. And the when you think of Boston, where where the recent marathon bombing happened, you you think Catholicism because Boston's one of the most Catholic cities in the nation. Um. The the Archbishop of Boston, who's been the Archbishop for some time, including when the marathon bombing happened, notice his birthday is June 29th, 1944. That means that when the bomb went off on April 15th, 2013, he was 68 years old. And, of course, this is the number of terrorism. It's the number that clearly connect. We just went over this even more yesterday, but it's the number that clearly connects to 9-11. It's the cl- number that clearly connects to Oklahoma City. It's the number that clearly connects to the bombing of the USS Cole. It's the number that clearly connects to the supposed Al-Qaeda bombings of Nairobi. And uh, I forget, the other city escapes me. But we just talked about this yesterday, how 68 is clearly encoded in all of these acts. Somebody also just pointed out to me that um, the bomber in, in Africa who was part of Al-Qaeda, look, look at what day he died, June 8th. He died on 6-8. Just like how the USS Cole was commissioned on June 8th in history, you know. Just like how the judge who sentenced Timothy McVeigh to death was born on June 8th. And, of course, McVeigh was born in 68th the year so many plans went into motion. And, by the way, just with regards to the Patriots Day theme, you know, just two years ago, Canada got disarmed with the mass shootings that were mostly on April 19th. And the supposed shooter's name, Gabriel Wartman, was 68. So, again, just this undeniable pattern. Of course, in Oklahoma City, across from the memorial site where the bomb went off, you have the And Jesus Webb statue at the Catholic Church, and and Jesus wept equals 68, like Catholicism, like terror. <sighs> Excuse me. But you, you just got to say, what what are the odds that, that the, 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 the prominent Catholic man in Boston was 68, time, uh, uh, 68 at the time of this act of terrorism? And here, let, let's take it from the top. Let's take it from the top. With regards to marathon, notice that one of the definitions of a marathon is a long-lasting or difficult task or operation of a specified kind. And again, what the government gets away with, I mean, it fits the definition. Long-lasting, difficult task. I mean, they put a lot of effort and resources into doing what they do, creating these acts of terrorism that are massive, that have worldwide impacts, and then all the years of cover-up and lies and media propaganda and demonizing people who look into the truth. It really is a marathon. And that's why we know, if this isn't stopped, the marathon continues. We, we know before long there'll be another Patriots Day tragedy with all the same numbers encoded, blamed on a new boogeyman. And, 
Uh, again, notice the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon did begin in 2001, as we'll get to it, began on April 29th, the 119th day of the year. It's funny that it's called Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. That has gematria of 129, which is 201 in Base 8 counting. Again, Clinton made the memorial site with legislation 129 weeks after the bomb went off. Of course, Georgetown's 129, the first Jesuit university where he attended, as well as Keating, who was the governor of Oklahoma at the time. But uh, also interesting, from the... From the Oklahoma City bombing to the Boston Marathon bombing was 18 years later. And remember, the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building that blew up in Oklahoma City was 18 years old when it exploded. And remember, the whole ritual started with the Star publication of Bill Clinton, the the bombshell sex affair with the woman from Oklahoma City, Jennifer Flowers, while the star was 18 years old. And as we know, 18 is the number that represents sun and IHS. And of course, the Jesuit logo is the sun with the letters IHS inside. And again, all of these rituals are Jesuit Catholic. So the day the bomb went off, April 15th, We've always talked about this before. It's the day leaving 260 days left in the year in Boston, Massachusetts equals 260. And that's how many chapters are in the New Testament, the Christian section of the Bible, in light of all this stuff being, again, biblical. But Boston, Massachusetts equals 260. What else equals 260 is Sean Patrick O'Malley, who was 68 when the bomb went off, who's still the leader of the Catholic Church in Boston, arguably the most Catholic city in America. So what a day for that to happen. And in light of Sean O'Malley being 68 years old, again, Patriots Day equals 68, Catholicism 68, Mathematics 68, Solar System 68, again, the statue and Jesus wept 68, to try and remember the whole list from Oklahoma City, the building blew up 68 days after the Jesuit educated governor's birthday, McVeigh born in 68, um... What's funny is if you go to the, the memorial building today, the, the parking garages, the, the entrances seem extremely low, and it's they'd probably tell you it's because they don't want another U-Haul van going in there, but they still could have made it taller. Or, or I should say a rider truck. It was a rider, but moving vehicle. But the for both parking garages at the memorial site, the clearance is 6 foot 8 inches. 6 foot 8. Again, the AT&T building turned 68 years old in Oklahoma City, which overlooks the site. And again, AT&T made 911 the emergency dialing code in 68. And um, the author who inspired Timothy McVeigh, who was born on September 11th, died at 68. And um, again, his trial in Denver, the 68 city with the judge born on June 8th and everything else I'm forgetting right now. But ju just the 68 overload. Oh, yeah. Also, the USS Cole, you know, it was first put out to sea 68 days before the building blew up in Oklahoma City, and then it became part of a act of terrorism blamed on Al-Qaeda, you know, just just before 9-11, where World Trade Center construction began in 68, and 911 was made the National Emergency Dialing Code in 68, and George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones in 68, and 9-11 is falls on his 68th day of his age each year. Of course, CIA is 68, and his daddy was the CIA director. And um, according to the film A Noble Lie, their research, Timothy McVeigh was an employee of the CIA, again, born in 68, just like Muhammad Atta, the lead hijacker on 9-11. And again, like uh, just an another new discovery, the man blamed for the Al-Qaeda bombings. Also, just before 9-11, the twin bombings of the two towers, just before 9-11, he dies on June 8th. But yeah, it's just, I, I mean, already, we're hardly even getting into this, but already it's a done deal. I mean, it's just, it's undeniable who was behind these rituals. And um, what else is funny is the attack came a span of 76 days from O'Malley's upcoming birthday at the time. Again, Patriots Day goes back to the American Revolution, 1776. The word bomb is 76. Deval Patrick, who was the mayor at the time, his name is 76. And... Um, Moving on, you, it, this came in the time of the 71st governor, who happens to have the birthday of the day Ignatius of Loyola died in history. And, and remember, Ignatius of Loyola Day is April 19th, which is the day the American Revolution began and the day the Oklahoma City building bombing blew up. The, the, the holiday for Patriots Day falls 
r- right around April 19th each year. April 19th is the truest of the truest forms of that date, but it was celebrated on April 15th, the year of the Boston Marathon bombing. And um, But notice he was the 71st governor. Catholic, of course, is 71. So is the Society of Jesus. That's the Jesuits. And from his birthday to the explosion was 258 days later. We're going to get to another 258 as we move ahead. But remember, the the Jesuits created the Order of Illuminati. And the Gematria of Order of Illuminati is 201, which is the number all over Oklahoma City in 9-11. Order of Illuminati, when you use numerology, is 93. The mayor at the time was the longest-serving mayor of Boston, mayor since 93, the same year Dozakar Sarnaya was supposedly born, the same year Waco happened that supposedly inspired Oklahoma City two years later, the same year the 93 World Trade Center bombing happened, same year Clinton took office, and and consider that Deval Patrick got his first federal position under Clinton, but Order of Illuminati, 201 with the alphabetic order, 93 with numerology, Boston Marathon bombing equals 93 in the same cipher. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse, it's 258, and when you run it in reverse with numerology, it's 105, and the bombing happened on the 105th day of the year. Remember what happened last year on April 15th? Um, or no, 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 I take it back. I take it back. It wasn't April 15th. It was October 5th. A date can be written 10 slash 5. That was the day Forbes published their article about Jeff Bezos, the Jesuit pawn, being the richest man in the world worth $201 billion as of his September 3rd evaluation, 9 slash 3. And then Stephanie Miller, who's got the 201-93-105 connection, was making the rounds in the news on October 5th. But... That these same numbers come together all the time. Bill Gates, full name, William Henry Gates, 201-258, co-sponsor of Event 201, the coronavirus pandemic simulation. His dad dies the year of the, the first year of the pandemic on the 258th day of the year. Not to mention he set up his vaccine alliance on the 258th day of his age. But we'll come back to the 258 because there's another important thing with that in the bombing. But again, 258 days after the governor's birthday. Again, these are the numbers of Order of Illuminati, which get used ritualistically. And uh, again, 105th day of the year and and an event titled 93 that has so many parallels to the Oklahoma City bombing that again had a million 201s encoded in it, as we've been covering over and over. Now, the mayor at the time, Thomas Menino, who died not long after the bombing, again, he did become mayor in 93. And from his birthday, December 27th, to the bombing was 109 days later. Now, remember, the word military is 109, and the Oklahoma City bombing happened on the 109th day of the year, April 19th, military 109. Clinton signed the legislation to create the memorial for the bombing on October 9th, 109. Adding insult to injury, from Obama's birthday to the bombing was Obama bombing, Obama Osama from Obama's birthday to the bombing, 254 days. What day did what what day is September 11th? It's the 254th day of the year. And remember, at the Boston Marathon, there were twin bombings, right? One bomb went off, and then 13 minutes later, another bomb in the year 13. And Patriots Day, the American Revolution, the 13 colonies, the 13 stripes. Okay. Also interesting. The the first, in light of the 9-11 parallel, being on September 11th, the 254th day of the year, the first Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon, which was in tribute to the bombing, happened on the 119th day of 2001, again before 9-11, on a date that can be written 11-9. And, and don't forget that from the day Obama took office to the day Osama supposedly died was exactly a span of 119 weeks. And don't forget Poseidon equals 119, and he was killed in Operation Neptune Spear, and the trident was all over the architecture of the World Trade Center. But um, from April 29th to September 11th was 135 days, and terrorism is 135. Remember, Central Intelligence Agency has 135 in it as well, and the Oklahoma City bombing happened 243 days after Bill Clinton's birthday, and exactly 117 weeks after he took office. All numbers that connect to Central Intelligence Agency. The uh, the current head of the CIA right now, the woman, her name is 135. I'll show you that real quick. CIA head, let's see. 
Or wait, do we have a new CIA head? Never mind, we have a new one. The 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 lady the lady before him, her name was 135. I actually haven't looked into the new CIA guy. But I forget the the lady who was just there, her name was 135, and they did a big th- big thing with her on May 13th. Oh well. Uh, we're, that, that'll be the next thing we decode, but we got enough right here, right now. Um, so again, Pope Francis has just become the first Jesuit Pope in the most Catholic city in America. A bomb goes off exactly 33 days after he became Pope. And again, 33 Massachusetts. There, there's only three States in the U S that equal 33 in the most pure cipher. And in the base ciphers, there's technically four, but I'll just show you. It's the first state, Delaware, which was also established on a date with 33 numerology. It's the last state, Hawaii. So the first and last state are both 33. And again, remember this nation has a strong history of masonry, but out of the 50 states, only three equal 33. And the other one is Massachusetts. And you wouldn't think Massachusetts is 33 because it's such a long name. It's just when you use the reduction, you know, A is only worth one. S is only worth one. So it has a lot of A's and S's in it. T becomes two. So it has a lot of small letter values. So there's only three states in the most pure cipher that equal 33. And and what a tribute, right? Because 33 is the rep digit of three. But the other state that has a connection to 33 is New York when you run the alphabetic order in reverse numerology. So anyway, and remember, the World Trade Centers lasted for 33 years from 68 to 2001. They came down in a false flag, a word that Google doesn't like you to use. And remember, the terminology comes from pirate. Pirate equals 33. Bonesman, the the alumni of Skull and Bones, you know, both, both Bushes, likely Clinton as well, who also went to Yale. But anyway, it was 33 days after he became Pope. And don't forget Timothy McVeigh put to death at age 33 right before 9-11. Don't forget the Masonic temples on the backside of uh, the the memorial on the campus. And then we found out it sold for 201000 which is just hilarious. But anyway, 119 days after his birthday, this happens. 119, right? And not only does that number go with 9-11, it goes with Vatican, 119. It goes with Francis, 119. You know, it goes with all seeing eye, and that's what they're after, programming the mind's eye of the masses. But exactly 119 days after his birthday. And then the uh, superior general of the Jesuits, it was exactly 351 days after his birthday, and that's the 26th triangular number. And when you think marathons, you think 26K. Apparently, the Boston Marathon is 26.2 miles. So 351 is the 26th triangular number. And um, the last time uh, the Boston football team won a Super Bowl, that that was uh, the Patriots, Super Bowl 53. By the way, Patriots 53, Los Angeles 53. 53, the 16th prime, the score was 13-3. to Football 13, beat the LA team with 13. But Sony Michelle was on that team at the time. And that Super Bowl was 351 days after his birthday. And the state game was in Georgia, where he went to college. Remember the year before, he'd lost to Alabama with Georgia in that stadium. Then the next year, he's on the Patriots winning the Super Bowl 351 days after his birthday. Again, that's the 26th triangular number. Game is 26. So is God. And if you write out the phrase, for the greater glory of God, which is the Jesuit motto, admirum de gloriam, for the greater glory of God, it's 351. It's also 135, which we just talked about. Like Central Intelligence Agency, which was established 201 days after the Pope's birthday. And again, just as a reminder, Central Intelligence Agency, United States of America, which are the words in their logo, is 201. Like Timothy McVeigh's 201. Like how the building blew up on Ignatius of Loyola Day, 201. You know what I mean? But anyway, look at, I mean, look how perfect all this is. All of the, isn't this just way too perfect and we're not even done yet. But just to review, since there's so much to keep straight, uh, again, it happens while the head of the Catholic Church in Boston, 68, the Catholic number, the terrorism number. And it also comes 76 days from his upcoming birthday, the bomb number, which goes with the revolution. It comes 258 days after the, uh, the governor's birthday, which we need to talk more about, but it fits in with the Jesuit order of Illuminati code. And really in a big way, because again, the name of the, the, the event, 93, Boston Marathon bombing on the 105th day of the year. 
And again, 109 days after the mayor's birthday with all the parallels to Oklahoma City, which happened on the 109th day, which is a military number. You know, it, it was compared to 9-11 when it happened. You know, just another Islamic extremist, you know, group targeting Americans in a story that made no sense and a story that was once again a, a load of shit. But on the 250, 254 days after the president's birthday, and uh, again, you know, 9-11 on the 254th day of the year, and again, 119 days after Francis's birthday, when Francis is 119 like Vatican, and then perfectly synced with the superior general leader of the Jesuits because 351s has the mathematical connection to 26, which is pretty much the number of marathons. By the way, Simon Dan, want to do another video trying to debunk Gematria? We, I, I love how that guy just backed down and just ran away as fast as possible. First, he agrees to the debate, and then he just runs out of town. He realized this wasn't flat earth. This was actually evidence-based with more evidence than... Uh, I, I, I think there's more evidence to support... Again, I think there's more evidence to support that the federal government works by the Code of Gematria, deceiving us day after day, than there is to support anything in the world of science. You know, I'll debate that. Show me more evidence to, to support anything in the world than this is what the government does day after day. I mean, the, the, the evidence just piles in. But here, adding to the parallels, Dozakar Sarnayev, his name is 191, just like Oklahoma City, just like Richard Wayne Snell, remember who plotted to blow up the Murrah building in 83 and who was put to death by the feds on April 19, 95, the day the building blew up. And if you read the story about him, supposedly all day in prison, he was telling people before his execution that the Murrah building was going to blow up that day. <laughs> But his full name, Richard Wayne Snell's 191. If you drop the Wayne and run it in reverse, it's 201. And um, again, Society of Jesus is 191, like Unconquered Sons 191. And as we've continued to point out, and as Kayla just independently researched last night, she's busy. So she, she didn't see that I was pointing this out the last few days. But she said, Zach, that building even blew up 191 days before Alfred P. Murr's birthday anniversary. And again, I mean, that's why anybody can research the same thing. So Kayla missed our videos covering that. But then she went out and discovered the same thing last night. And again, it's just undeniable. You, you could also say the building blew up 194 days before the anniversary of his death because he died three days after his birthday. And you know what I just noticed? Actually, hold on. Hold on. Is this right? You know what's weird? This mayor who was the mayor when the bomb went off, he died October 30th, which is the same day Alfred P. Murrah died in history. Hmm. It's the day leaving 62 days left in the year. Sacrifice is 62. Oh, by the way, this bomb also went off right before the Boston Celtics 68th season. Probably not a coincidence in light of how they sync up sports. And and, and the Celtics had their worst season in a long time. Um But but the thing about it being 191 days before Alfred P. Murray's birthday when the building blew up named after him or 194 days before the anniversary of his death. 194 is like 19 slash 4, the date the building blew up. And remember, the Turner Diaries equals 194, where the author died at 68 and was born on September 11th that inspired McVeigh to blow up the building. And, and uh, on that point, you guys, I want you to remember, the Turner Diaries is about somebody blowing up a building, white supremacists blowing up a building in an insurrection in Washington, D.C., and that whole thing was a massive 68201 ritual on January 6, 2021. And we've seen all sorts of people in the media. We, we saw Kamala Harris compare it to Pearl Harbor and 9-11, the insurrection, right? We saw Bill Maher come out and get all the, the headlines because he said, you know, th this was just a warning. The next time's going to be something like 9-11. And again, we're living out this planned, scripted narrative. You know that they have a, a, a another big bomb plan for Washington, D.C., and they've already told you everything's going to be. It's going to be white supremacists. It's going to be just like what's in the Turner Diaries that supposedly inspired McVeigh. We're living out planned agendas. We're living out a story that was written long ago, coded out with all the same numbers, all the same dates. And that's why all along the way they give us these other little details, these other little reminders to keep our minds focused on the same thing, locked into the same narrative. When you run Dozakar Sarnayev in reverse, notice it's also 241, like Osama bin Laden, which it was compared to, 
which is the 53rd prime. And as we know, Osama died on his 54th day of being 54 years old. He supposedly wrote his his thing, you know, threatening the West on the 54th day of 98, February 23rd. As we know, Jesuit orders 54, terrorism's 54. But in light of him dying on his 54th day of being 54 years old, you could also say he died 53 days after his birthday, where again, 241's the 53rd prime, and this happened in the time of the 53rd mayor, and religion's 53. You know, dividing people and always possible, always amongst religion. And uh, keep in mind, Dozakar Sarnayev was 19 years old at the time. He was he turned 20 later that year, but 19, 19 hijackers on 9-11, the Quran code discovered in 1968, where the whole Quran centered on 19. And, and just like in Oklahoma City, they say 19 children died on the 19th. The chaos code, 19, right? Over and over. By the way, Dozakar Sarnayev's full name has Gematria 322 like Skull and Bones. Patriot's Day equals 149 like Skull and Bones. 149, the 35th prime. Oklahoma City off Interstate 35 on the 35th parallel, just down the road from where JFK was killed. Along Interstate 35, number 35, the man born on the 149th day of the year, while George H.W. Bush was in attendance, Mr. Skull and Bones himself. And um, then the other thing is, is do you remember that the hero of, o- or not Oklahoma City, but the hero of the Boston Marathon bombing, he was wearing a cowboy hat, right? And when you think Oklahoma, you think Cowboys, one of their one of the top athletic programs in the nations, the Oklahoma State Cowboys, Oklahoma State University. You know, it's it's the Southwest kind of, kind of really in the heart, but still. Associated with Cowboys, right? So they had to give you the Cowboy Hero on at the Boston Marathon bombing. And this is what they do. They're always paying tribute to the past, giving you little clues about who's really behind it. And it's too bad YouTube's been destroyed because there used to be a lot of videos on YouTube. You, YouTube was really a lot better at... Um, it's funny when the, when the when this bombing happened, I didn't know Gematria yet. But what I, what I was sharing online was other people's YouTube videos, who'd captured all the footage of what happened at Boston that day. And if you forget, I mean, it was captured on video how they contrived the scene, how the how the guy with the cowboy hat who got to go in the media and be the hero, um, how he was there like knocking down the fence and helping create the scene. And then he's on TV telling you he's the hero. And then they're telling you the sob story about how he lost his son in the Gulf War. And remember, McVeigh was a Gulf War veteran. But uh, I, I'm going to show you what's interesting about his son's death. I, I was just I, I just noticed this today, looking into this for the first time. But here, here's what I want to say about him being in a cowboy hat, too. Remember, Richard Wayne Snell. Or here, I just got, I got it all right here, so instead of rewriting it. Um, check this out. Timothy McVeigh was put to death in Indiana, supposedly put to death, probably really not, but um, he was put to death in Terry Hot, Indiana, which equals 83, like Oklahoma City, Oklahoma's 83, like Richard Wayne Snell is 83, and again, Richard Wayne Snell was put to death the day the building blew up, and supposedly he plotted to blow up the building in 83, and as we know, that's the murder number, Uh, Brotherhood of Death also equals 83, which is Skull and Bones, but remember when uh, the Supreme Court just did this the other day? When uh, th- this was the headline, or I guess it was more than the other day now. It was October 13, 2021. But th- this story about how the Supreme Court was ready to, to make sure that Sarnayev is put to death, this news came out 83 days after his birthday. And again, that's the murder number. So, um, again, I mean, just, just the same old parallels. But, but here's the other thing about this guy in the car- cowboy hat. His name, Carlos Arredondo, equals 243, like Central Intelligence Agency. Again, Oklahoma City happened 243 days after Bill Clinton's birthday. He's from Costa Rica, which equals 154. The date of the bombing can be written 15-4, so that's probably why they got a Costa Rican to do it. And... Um, Notice his birthday, August 25th. That date can be written 25 slash 8. Remember, it happened 258 days after the governor's birthday. And both Order of Illuminati and Number of the Beast are 258 in the same cipher. And look at what day his son died. 
His son died August 25th in the war. His son just happened to die on his birthday. See, I mean, if he wasn't part of a psychological operations, which he obviously was, where he was caught on camera helping contrive the scene at the Boston Marathon bombing only before going on TV as the hero. And just think about how sick that is. I mean, that, that, that's what our government is, you guys, always playing the hero. Oh, we're the good guys keeping you safe from the bad guys when really they're the bad guys doing all the evil and creating this illusion so that they can tax you and take away your rights and liberties. But, um, again, his son dies on his birthday, and <laughs> Red Cross volunteer is also funny because, again, we know the Red Cross is the Knights Templar. But, um... Remember, Number of the Beast and Order of Illuminati are 258. It happened 258 days after the governor's birthday, and the finish line that year was at 666 Boylston Street. You know? So. What do you know? What do you know? But yeah, you know, just a little more research, a little more of the same patterns, and um, before next year, I I might just rewrite it. Well, it could just be in the book I have now, but I'm thinking about just rewriting a a, a short book about Waco, Oklahoma City, and 9-11 alone, and, you know, just tuck in little details with things like this, too, because... Yeah, the book I'm finishing right now, it's not long, but I I definitely went over my 50-page idea. So, might be nice next year if you had a really, if I had a really short book on, um, on what happened. And we're back in Oklahoma City with even bigger numbers, handing them out all over the town. Guys, sure you want to go in the museum today? Here, we got a free book for you that's better than the museum. The only the my only the only drawback about Oklahoma City is it is a really quiet town. There's there's no housing really in the city, so there's not many people in the city. But the the day of the memorial is the day to gather there. And, and again, next year, I plan on uh, making the run through Texas and then be into Oklahoma City on April nineteenth. So live and learn. That seems like the smarter way to do it, but. Yeah, again, these people, man, uh, th- their biggest giveaway is just how repetitive they are with their patterns. Wish I could snap my fingers and be in front of Sean O'Malley right now, ask him some questions. So, um, I-, I think I hit all the points I wanted to hit here. But yeah, I mean, and again, it's just like I kept bringing up that I should I should have just went back and looked at my notes. But I kept bringing this up in Oklahoma City. Like, remember, Canada just got disarmed because of what happened on April 19th, two years ago. And sure enough, the shooter's name. And remember, he was driving up and down Route 102. Up and down Route 102. The reflection of 201. And you know what it says when you when you go in um when you go in the or hold on. No, that's not that's not right. Hold on. Where where's Chigozi Truth's channel? Um let me get Chigozi's channel up here. Chigozi went in the museum in live stream. Hold on. Has somebody got a new video? Uh, a day like any other day. That's what it says when you go in there. A day like any other day. So this is inside the, the museum. A day like any other day. 102. And they said that about 9-11 too, right? The attack that lasted 102 minutes, that was simulated 102 days before it happened, that was blamed on Al-Qaeda, which equals 102. They put out the USS Cole to Sea on February 10th, the date that we were in 10 slash 2, 68 days before the building blew up on Oak. 68 days before the building blew up in Oklahoma City. So... And then hold on, what else is funny? So then in the museum, look at how they also have this too. They have the, they. this is a, if he brings his camera up, it's a picture of the rider truck driving past the front door of the building that supposedly blew up the building. But notice the time that they have on that frozen frame of when it drove by 
eight fifty six fifty six. Like Society of Jesus is fifty six. And I think I maybe it's Deval Patrick's name. Oh no, it's the it's the mayor's name. Thomas Menino's fifty six. But yeah, I'm sure there's even more stones to turn over here, but. Again, you guys, it's undeniable who all the rituals are synced up through. The Catholic Church, the Pope, the Superior General, the same thing all throughout history. And uh, again, I mean, all, all the other boogeymen that are getting blamed out there, you know, all the people that are hung up on Israel's behind everything. Again, the Jesuits are Catholic and Jewish, but. It's obvious that the same entity that caused the United States of America to be born, the Catholic Church, is the same one that's still running the show. So, 56 signers on the Declaration of Independence. Oh, I see we got a nice little super chat. Newsbender. There, there's a show with some predictive programming. Newsbender 2. We appreciate you, Zach. Never stop doing what you do. I, I, I appreciate your donation. Your donations make it all the easier to continue. And, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about getting new people to, to help fund the cause because, again, th this is the least support I've had financially. And it's okay. I mean, there's plenty of financial support for me. It's just I really am trying to build up a lot of resources to make something big happen. But this month is the lowest the support's been in, in the last year. And it seems kind of funny that it would be the lowest this month because we, we did the biggest thing that we've done yet. And... um The, the Paul Weissopel thing is interesting. Uh, thank you for your super chat. But I, I just say it's interesting that it's the lowest it's been in a year, but it, it probably also has a lot to do with fuel costs being up. You know, a lot of people who could probably afford a dollar, maybe even $5 a month, you know, the fuel costs are, are taking a lot of extra money out of people's pockets. And again, this is all Agenda 21, 2030. They, they want to bankrupt everybody, make it hard to uh, do anything. And, and that's that, that, that's my frustration too. It's like, God. You know, we've come a long way, but I don't want this to be too little too late, man. I mean, we're at a bad point. Things are getting expensive. It's harder for people to mobilize. I imagine we would have had even more people in Oklahoma City had energy costs not jumped so much. I'm sure that deterred a lot of people from making the trek. But uh, here, for the uh, Super Chat asking for Paul Weissopel. Some people do think this is who Timothy McVeigh is. There's not a lot of information out there on him on the internet. He works for the FBI in Tampa, Florida. Um, but yeah, I've seen this before that people think he's uh, Tim McVeigh. So somebody has this right here. Chris Emery, who did uh, A Noble Lie, is convinced that um, Timothy McVeigh didn't die. I mean, it's possible. It's possible that's him. So wouldn't surprise me. But, um, yeah, it's also interesting that there's just not a lot of information on this guy on the Internet. So, And what else is interesting is Alfred P. Murrah. You know what the P stands for? Stands for Paul. So wouldn't it be funny if he did end up being another federal agent and they just renamed him Paul? Paul Weissopel. Here, you know what? I don't know if I ever decoded the name Paul Weissopel. Let's see what's behind that name. Let's see. Paul Weissopel. 44. Remember, the uh, the building blew up when um, Jennifer Flowers was 44. The, the bombshell broke in the star about her sex affair with Clinton. The star is also... Um, Or that's not it. But again, if, if you missed what we were just talking about, Jennifer Flowers, she's from Oklahoma City, and the building blew up on her 86th day of her age. 86 bombs, Hiroshima. Oh, you know what else is funny? The uh, the uh, the Archbishop of New York, when 9-11 when construction began in 68. Check this out. Terrence James Cook. What do you think his name equals? <laughs> Terrence James Cook, who was Archbishop of New York when World Trade Center construction began in 68. His name is 68 in the most pure cipher. It's also 94 in reverse, like how terror has the 94 and 68 connections. Of course, Roman Catholic Church is 94 and Catholicism 68. He died 219 days after his birthday, like Roman Catholic. And remember, the nation's first uh, Supreme Court Justice, Antonin Scalia, 
His name is 132 and 219, just like Roman Catholic in the same ciphers, and he laid in repose at the Supreme Court on February 19th, 219. Died in a clear ritual by the numbers on the 44th day of the year. Well, number 44 was in office. Another part of the Jesuit network. So, Yeah, it's, it's hard to uh, do much research on if this could be Timothy McVeigh. It's not out of the question. It's just there's not a lot of information out there on him, so... All right. Um, again, thank you to uh, everyone who hit the like and the share. And yeah, New York City, September 11th. Um, right, right now, everyone who has connections or, or or knows a thing or two about New York is saying, you know, what you want to do is you want to stay in Jersey City because it's a lot cheaper to stay in Jersey City, and then you want to take the train or the subway from Jersey to New York because it only cost a couple dollars to ride the train each way. And it's a lot better than parking. And it's about a 20 minute train ride. So for me, that would be fun because I've never been to New York and I've never been on a subway. Well, I've been on the BART in San Francisco. It's kind of like the subway. Project Avatar. Thank you, D26. Project Avatar. Look into it. Okay. Project Avatar 2045. Life extension. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, there, there's no doubt this is the direction society's heading. And... Um, You said Project Avatar equals 201. Yeah, it sure does. And 84, just like the Jesuit order. 150, like Illuminati. 51, like the date they were established. Hey, you know, it fits right in there with, uh, you know, giving up sovereignty over our bodies. Ten years from now, they might be saying, you know, the average American, you guys are just too fucking dumb. So, here, we need to put this chip in your head so you have a little more IQ power. I might actually be willing to sign up for that one dumb as everybody is but um yeah I, I, you know interesting I, I will look more into this good find so. okay um Yeah, if you guys uh, haven't been checking out everybody else's work who was down in Oklahoma City April 19th, again, pe people did, you know, a lot of stuff did get censored, but there is still some stuff that's up. Apparently, uh, Timothy McVeigh was at the Dreamland Hotel. There it is, the Dreamland. The American dream. You got to be asleep to not see what's going on, so... D26, didn't I just read your previous super chat and go to it? Like, what kind of delay is he on? Look at a 2045 initiative, a.k.a. Project Avatar. That's what I've been doing, my man. Oh, are you say, or maybe you're saying you gave another super chat? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He must have given another super chat. Let's see. I, I got to open up the thing because... Okay, he gave it he gave another one, I see. Please read my comment on your 33 minute Al Qaeda video. Do you mean the one I did yesterday? Was it 33 minutes? Let's see. All right, one second. I'm finding his comment. Okay, I found it. All right, so he wrote... Here, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see it as I read along. 
It is so annoying not to receive notifications, and sometimes when I do, they are late, that by the time I join, you're about to leave, and I feel like that kid who joins the party late and everyone's leaving already. Anyway, remember the CV protest in D.C. earlier this year on January 23rd? Uh, That was Georgetown's birthday, absolutely. Apparently on Georgetown's birthday, it was also 201 days after George Bush's birthday. Can't think of any connection with Bush with the protest, but there's something else. So on July 6th, 1965, Bush's 19th birthday, the 25th Amendment to the United States Constitution was submitted by the 89th Congress and was adopted on February 10th, 1967, the day that the requisite number of states, 38, had ratified it. Both the dates are one year, seven months, and four days apart, like 174 New World Order. Both have date numerologies of 97 and 79, respectively, and I know this is kind of forcing to get a number, but just for fun, January 2-3 equals 201 and 84. There are so many new finds to share with you. It's just the lack of motivation to make smaller videos. I start one and end up stretching several folds. I, I got the same problem as you. I got to learn how to drop a small grenades from you. Meanwhile, we all work on our own nuclear arsenal. Hope you get the reference. Indeed. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, I don't believe Bush went to Georgetown. Here, let's check. I know he went to Yale. Let's see where else he went to school. George W. Bush education. Let's see. Harvard. Davenport. How come? Why? So Google's hiding that he went to Yale? What is this about? He's also from New Haven, Connecticut. The Bushes are from the same town Skull and Bones is in. It's funny, though, that Google now has pulled Yale from his education. Just as time goes on, they just pull more and more information. Um, Yale. Well, it's still there. Let's see if they have any connection to Georgetown. I mean, they are a big family in D.C. where Georgetown is. The day George H.W. Bush visited Georgetown. Yeah, they might not have had anybody go to Georgetown. Well, anyway, I, I do appreciate the, the additional information. So I do believe we'll also leave it there for now, True Seeker. I think it's time for breakfast over here. I'm getting a little bit hungry. But, um, yeah, uh, again, start thinking. New York, September 11th, big gathering. Try to create a big spark. Try to get uh, more knowledge flown in the city. And um, George Bush's mom's birthday is June 8th. Of course it is. <laughs> Allen Iverson. There's a Georgetown grad. Allen Iverson definitely went to Georgetown. Um, Yeah, okay. We can leave it there for now, you guys. Keep uh, researching here. The more research I do, the the, the longer the book gets. But, uh, again, it, it, I, it, it's just amazing. You know, we've already done so much research over the years, and then you just you realize it's like, ah, there's even more to the pattern, just so much more to the pattern. What, what haven't we thought of today that's still out there? So we'll figure it out soon enough. But anyhow... Have a good one, Truth Seeker, and uh, until next time.